good glass of wine. I know I'm not alone. Few wine lovers in my life, so I'm always on the lookout for a few good gift ideas for them. And here to help me is Haley Bowman from Cork and Fizz. Hello. Hello. You match the almond roca tin. Oh, I do. Look at that. Look at that. Festive. You were just, and you know, and we were both. By the way, we have an idea for you, almond roca. Before we get to wine, we want you to bring back. Oh yeah, the vintage tin. The bring back the vintage yeah. tin. We're all here for that. We think that's a great idea. Yes. Um, other gift ideas, though, include wine. Yes. Okay, I'm super excited to show some of these to you. The first one I thought of you when I saw it. Uh, everybody's been asking, what the heck is this? Um, and this is called a vocho. Okay. Um, and so basically this part comes off and it goes in the freezer. Okay. And then you stick it to the stand here. And I know you like your white wine very cold, perhaps ice cold, <laughs> perhaps. She's calling me out. <laughs> Nothing wrong with I told it. her a little secret sometimes. I add white <laughs> ice to my white wine. But I don't yeah, have to anymore. You don't have to. So this goes in the freezer, like I said. You have three hours minimum, and then otherwise I just store it in the freezer when okay. I'm not using it. And then simple as this, you stick your white wine glass in there. Or honestly, I use it for red if I forgot to get a little chilled. Yes. Um, but yeah, it keeps your wine nice and cold for you, and you don't have to dilute it with a, an ice cube. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's the best gift ever. And then they also have a stemless as well if that's your preferred uh, drinkware uh, at home. And this is why we love Haley. Uh, remind <laughs> us though what you do at, at Cork and Fizz. Yeah, so I run a wine tasting business. That's mm -hmm. my biggest thing. I want to teach people about wine, make it approachable, and make it fun. Yes. Um, so speaking of other gifts, I have a little setup here to kind of demonstrate oh. what that tasting looks like. Oh, okay, okay. Um, And please feel free. I'm not going to have wine here and not have you drink it. Oh, well, so these are Sauvignon Blancs in the I white wine glass. <laughs> she loves me. I know what to do. Um, but yeah, so this is a little setup here. I am offering uh, private tasting gift cards and vouchers if you know someone in your life who prefers like the experience style gift yes. um, over the, the thing or the item. I think that an experience style gift is something that, that you can get someone who has everything. Yes, no, absolutely. And or someone who doesn't want clutter, right? Like already have so much stuff. Clutter. <laughs> and, and I will say this is that because it's you, and because I love how Cork and Fizz is so approachable, this is something I would get someone who maybe wasn't even really into wine yeah. to give them an idea because you have that ability to like make us like things that we might not like normally, like some of these different wines. So what have we got here? So I have, so like I said, in the white is a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Um, and then we have in the middle, that's a very unique wine. It's called Pais. It's from Chile. Um, it's one of the first grapes that was planted in America and Ooh. in South America. That is a unique flavor. Yeah, yeah. I did not expect that. And then <laughs> more red here. Yes, yeah, and the last one's a Carmenere, also a Chilean wine that just happened to be on my hands. I was like, let's bring them in. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wanted to show you really quick the Chilean wine, so that last one. Mm -hmm. I actually poured it from this bottle. Okay. But you'll see that the cork oh, is not taken out, I'm sorry. right? sorry. How did you get it out of the bottle? Okay. Because the cork, <laughs> it's ladies and gentlemen, is all the way in there, but you can see some wine is okay, missing. Okay, this is the, like, coolest wine contraption I've ever found, seen, and it just, it does magic tricks. It lets okay. you pour wine without taking the cork what? out. All right, let me see this. Okay, so basically how it works, you're just gonna pull it down and there's a needle here that's hollow. Oh. We're gonna push the needle through the cork here. I have got another wine glass to demonstrate. Um, and then it pushes Aragon gas into the bottle. And then that's what keeps your wine good for a long period of time. And then I push that button. What? And we pour wine. It's super cool. It, um, and then it is a little slow. You have to be patient for the magic to work. Uh, it's all right. It's, I know. It's worth it. it. Just to play with this machine is worth I it. I know. Right. And then this wine will stay good for years. You can keep that. You can keep that. Years. Wine. Yep. And you just take this right off. You don't have to keep it on or anything. And the cork will uh, reseal itself mm. in less than 24 hours. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. So yeah, and so this thing is called a Corvin. Do you need like a gas thing in here? Yeah, so okay. there is a little gas insert and it comes with some, um, you can find them on their website. Okay. Um, and then yeah, they have this version and they have a couple other options. This is the that you most genius from. thing. I mean, <laughs> if I needed to keep, I don't know that a bottle of wine would last more than right. three days on Right, it's more if you want like a taste or you want to like show But if, show it's, if you have a very expensive bottle of wine and yeah. you don't want to, okay, I hear that. Okay, um, what's the re-pour wine saver? Yes, okay, so this is another option if okay. you haven't quite finished a bottle you want it to last a little bit longer. Okay. Um, or say, like, for example, you really loved the Sauvignon Blanc, this is the one that I poured, yeah. um, and you're like, I want to save it for when, you know, my girlfriend comes yeah, over yeah. in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You could just put the screw cap on, and it'll stay in your fridge for probably about a week. Okay. But with a re-pour, how this works is they basically look like a little cork. Let me grab one out here. So they look like a little cork. Okay. And all we do is you take off the screw cap or you take off mm -hmm. the, if the cork is already out, it works with both. There's a little thing in here that sucks oxygen out of the bottle once I pull the foil off. Oh. And so you just pull that off, stick it in, 
Okay. Oh, and then wow. that will pull oxygen out and you can keep this. Um, I usually put it back in the fridge and you can keep it in there for about, I think they say about three months. Three months? Yeah. Yeah, and oh, then you can okay. pour some out, take the cork out, pour some out, and then just make sure to put it right back in. One of these works for about one bottle of wine. So this works for one bottle of wine, and then kind of it doesn't really have a... Yeah, because it's so small, it but you can't can still it so use much. It, you can still reuse it for just, you know, Yeah, for just feeling. Time. Yeah, exactly. All right, um, so you also have, I love books that oh, help yes. people. You know, and if maybe I just want to get a book of wine for someone. Yes, so there's a couple options here. Um, the first one is, this is Wine Folly. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of my favorites, is like a coffee table book. It's beautiful, it's, let me yes, see this beautiful Yes, it's absolutely book. beautiful. It's fun to look at. It mm -hmm. kind of follows like the, tells you what is oh. wine, and then it goes through all the different styles of wine and gives you like, what is the common aromas found in this? What is a good price point to pay for this wine? Um, I never knew seashell was a flavor <laughs> in wine. <laughs> yes. Who yeah. knew? Yeah, and so it shares all that. I feel like it's very approachable. It's great for beginners in wine and people who want to learn more or wine uh, aficionados like myself. I always go to this book when I want to kind of just get a review of a certain wine. I love this. Yeah. I, it doesn't matter. I really love this. Oh, wow. This is a great book. Yeah. Wine Folly. I know who I'm getting this one for. And then you've got Wine yes. Food. Yes. And then the last one is for someone who loves to cook as much as they love wine. Mm -hmm. um, so I can trade you here. So this yeah. is Wine Food. This has um, recipes. Uh, this is what I need. I just need food to pair with my wine. <laughs> exactly. It gives you a recipe and for each one, it gives you a style of wine um, to ah. pair with it. It is one of my go-tos when I'm having people over and I want to cook something special and have a good wine to pair with it. I love it. I also love your earrings. They oh, are so thank cute. You. I don't yes. know if y'all noticed, she's got little <laughs> wine bottle yes, earrings. Yes, these are available. I sell these on oh, uh, Cork and Fizz. Too? Yeah, I have a, a local crafts person that makes them and oh. I sell them. And, and so yeah, so I have all these gifts plus over like 60 more and a holiday gift guide that I created. So if people want to find that, you can find it on my Instagram or on my website, Cork and Fizz. Thank you so much. You always make this so much fun and there are <laughs> so many you. fun things. Cheers to you, my friend. Cheers. And I'll tell you this. Oh, and, and try that almond milk. Yes, absolutely. She will. <laughs> All right.